everybody, it's Alex over at BCP Tuning. And today we're in a 2015 Subaru WRX. This car is completely stock, 100% mechanically stock. It even has a stock air filter on it. My goal for today was to show you guys what we can do with a stock car. With everything that's been going on with Cobb over the past few months, there's been some concerns about um, how far we can go with modding these cars. So I thought, you know, let's, let's, let's stick to the basics here. Let's start with the basics. Stock car, we just baselined it. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and flash our stage one OTS map. Now, OTS stands for off the shelf. And the point of the off the shelf map is that you can pretty much just buy a map from us flash it to your car and not have to worry about anything and just go. In comparison to our custom tuning services, a custom tune, you're gonna have more modifications on the car. We're gonna custom tailor the tune for those modifications. We're gonna exchange data logs and maps back and forth. So the OTS map is not only a more affordable route, but it's also an easier route if it, if it works for the, the modification package you have on your vehicle. So we'll go ahead and flash our stage one OTS map. We'll compare it to what it makes with the uh, stock map. And then, if we're lucky, we'll show you a preview of our E30 off the shelf map as well. And we can talk a little bit more about that. So we've got our stage one off the shelf map flashed. Let's see how much power it puts down. this data that we got from the baseline run and then our OTS stage one run. So first we're going to isolate horsepower and look at horsepower by itself. Now as you can see we have a solid gain in horsepower pretty much everywhere from 3000 rpm all the way to redline and our peak gain was 40 wheel horsepower. So we went from 217 on the baseline to 257. But another thing that I like to point out to people is what happens at different RPM areas. So these are our differences at our peak numbers. But if we take a look at 6,200 RPM right here, we're actually seeing a difference of 55 wheel horsepower. So out here, we're picking up 55 wheel horsepower. I also want to point out that the graph is a little bit smoother here on the OTS run. The stock graph is known to be a little choppier. And you'll see that more on the torque graph when I pull that up. But these dips that we see right over here, they're smoothed out a little bit with that OTS map. And I think you're really going to notice that. So let's go ahead and change this over to our torque reading. And here you get an idea of the way that the engine makes torque. Now, I do apologize that I didn't start the two runs perfectly at the same RPM. If I could go back and fix that, I would, but I already got the data. Um, so that will not necessarily be a fair apples to apples comparison in terms of spool time because we got a little head start right here. But after 3000 RPM, once everything is spinning and the, and the, you know, the turbo is making boost, it's very interesting to see the significant amount of torque increase that we got. So a peak gain of 54 wheel torque, you're definitely going to feel that. And in this 3000 to 5000 range, you're really going to notice that when accelerating. Still nice gains at higher RPM, but this is where things like fuel quality and charge air temperature come into play. So the main gains in torque are right through here. So now that we've got that established, let's go ahead and continue with the video and then we can talk about that E30 tune. Now keep in mind, this is a completely stock car and we're limited with what we can do just with tuning. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the E30 in the car and then, th then we're going to explore the benefits of that. In a nutshell, the main benefit of the E30 fuel is much higher knock resistance and much higher latent heat of vaporization rate. What does that mean? We can safely make more power, simply put. 
These engines are higher compression engines. You know, obviously they're turbocharged, so they produce a lot of heat. And this particular engine, because I, I tuned quite a few different platforms, this particular engine is very sensitive to fuel quality, probably the most sensitive I think I've ever seen. So when we put even just a bump in ethanol content to E30 there, the benefits are huge. I would say that that's the best mod you can do on a stock car. With just the E30 tune, we're making about as much as we would if you did thousands of dollars worth of bolt-on mods and then ran it on 93. So the point is, is if you wanna leave your car mechanically stock and you wanna make, let's say, close to 300 wheel horsepower, the E30 off the shelf map is about the easiest way to do it. So we'll go ahead and get that flashed. We'll get some E30 in the tank. We'll let the fuel mix up a little bit and then we'll go ahead and do a pull and see what it makes. Now we're gonna put a little bit of ethanol in the car and we're gonna see what it makes on the E30 map. So you're probably wondering, what do you need to do to achieve an E30 ratio? And there's a lot of different apps you can get for your phone and just different charts that you can use online. But generally it's about a three to one ratio. So three parts gasoline to one part E85. If you're at a pump that has both, which both, most of them do, you're gonna be able to just put, uh, you know, this is a 16 gallon tank. If it was empty, you're gonna put about 12 gallons of 93 and then four gallons of E85 to get that E30 mixture. The reason why we're using E30 is because you can use that on the completely stock fuel system configuration. So we don't need to do a drop in fuel pump or anything like that at all. And that boost in ethanol content is gonna give us some awesome benefits. We're actually using E98 here because that's what we have in the shop. You're not gonna be able to find that at most pumps but it allows us to bring up our mixture more quickly. Some of you might be wondering, how do I know if I have enough ethanol in my system? Do I have too much? Do I have not enough? Remember, you can always get an ethanol content analyzer gauge. If you don't want to go with true flex fuel and convert your car to Ecutech, you can put a ethanol content analyzer and a gauge on it so you can see your exact ethanol content that's traveling through the fuel line. Let that mix up and then we can do a pull. Okay, so we've got the E30 in the tank. It's all mixed up. We've got our E30 off the shelf mat flash. Let's go ahead and do a dyno pull and see what we come up with. All right, let's do the pull. Results are in on our OTS E30 tune. Let's take a look at the power differences between the OTS E30 tune and the OTS 93 tune, and we can also look at that comparison to stock. That's where it gets really interesting. So for starters, with our peak numbers, we saw 45 wheel horsepower over our Stage 1 93 map. So we went from 257 to 302 wheel horsepower. Guys, this is significant. This is literally as much power as you'll make with thousands of dollars in bolt-ons running 93. I tune cars with intercoolers, with J-pipes, full turbo back exhaust, intake. They barely make 300 wheel horsepower. With just the E30 tune on a bone stock car with a stock air filter and everything, we can make 300 wheel horsepower. So that was a great gain. But let's look at the difference from stock. We went from 217 wheel horsepower peak stock to 302. That is over 85 wheel horsepower difference from a stock car. That is not going to go unnoticed. And let's take a look at that high RPM number as well, where the power really starts to nose over on a stock car. You see, we can keep it flat in this region much better because of the fuel quality. With that E30, we don't have to worry so much about that nose over that happens on the gasoline based fuels. We're talking about over 117 wheel horsepower at 6300 RPM right here. Trust me when I say that's not going to go unnoticed. So let's take a look at our torque reading. 
So the torque, we can make good torque even on gasoline-based fuels because usually heat is not an issue at that point. Let's just take a look at the number comparisons, though. We made 328 on our OTS E30 tune versus 300 on our OTS 93 tune. So we still saw an improvement of 28 wheel torque, which you're definitely going to feel. But let's look at that comparison to stock. This is crazy. We're talking about 82 wheel torque over stock peak. This is very noticeable. I mean, I don't expect anybody to run nitrous on their FA20 WRX, but these, these improvements are comparable to running like almost 100 shot of nitrous on the car. So really cool improvements. If we look over in this region right here, in this 25 to 3500 RPM region, you can see that it starts making more torque early on. Even in just around like 2500 RPM, it starts spooling a little bit harder. So the E30 tune is also gonna feel more responsive for you. It's gonna feel more responsive down low, and it's also gonna feel like it pulls harder to redline. And this is why I try to tell everybody, go with the E30 tune if you have ethanol in your area. And I just think that the noteworthy point is it's a flash and go tune. So you're gonna flash it, obviously make sure you got the E30 in your tank and you're done. That's it. You don't have to worry about getting under the car and installing a J pipe. You don't have to worry about rusty exhaust bolts. We're not talking about installing an intake or an intercooler. This is a stock configuration car. So very excited to release this. I know it's going to be really popular. Um, definitely check out the link in the description if you do want to get it ordered. Uh, most of the E30 and 93 off the shelf tunes get fulfilled within one business day or less. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about this stuff, certainly let me know. But just want to drive it home a third time. Stock car, stock configuration, nothing has been changed. Stock J-pipe, all emissions equipment is intact. So that's what's really fun uh, about these cars and, and being able to reflash them, especially when we put some good fuel on them. So thanks for watching and hope to see an order from you soon. Thanks.